Hi, it's Nerdy and I've got a heap of lemons at the moment and as they say, when life gives you lemons, you should make something tasty with them. So I've decided to make some lemon cordial. If you'd like to see how, keep watching. The ingredients you will need are lemons and sugar. I'm using raw sugar, but I also really like using brown sugar sometimes. You'll also need a small saucepan, a measuring jug, a grater or lemon zester, and a couple of bottles to put the cordial in when you're done. Start by grating the zest of four of the lemons. Squeeze enough lemons to make 500 ml or 2 cups of juice. It took me 8 lemons and a lot of muscle power to get 500 ml of lemon juice and I've put all of the empty lemon halves in the saucepan. Add some water to the saucepan and slowly bring to a simmer. Once the lemon peels have softened, remove them from the water. You want to keep 500 ml or 2 cups of this water in the saucepan. Add the lemon zest and 2 cups of sugar to the lemony water. Stir until the sugar dissolves and then heat the mixture until it forms a syrup. Now that the syrup is ready, add the two cups of lemon juice. Now take the syrup off the heat and let it cool before bottling. I'm using the measuring jug from earlier to help me pour the cordial into the bottles. This recipe made 1.25 litres or 5 cups of cordial and will store in the fridge for up to 4 months. You can use this cordial in a lot of different drinks but for a basic lemonade add 1 part of cordial to 4 parts of soda water. Cheers! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if so it would be great to get a thumbs up and as always written instructions are available on my blog, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you tried this recipe yourself or if you have your own favourite cordial recipes, I'd love to hear about it, you can either comment below on my blog or on my Twitter. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, I make new videos every Wednesday. See ya! Tap to remove any air bubbles and to flatten out the top. Now put this in the fridge to harden.